Wholeness. What is the clarity on a third and fourth dimension? Well, family, I would like to share some clarity that has come through uh, this new book that I started reading last or earlier this month, uh, A Course in Master and Alchemy by Jim Self. Yeah, I should tap into that. Uh, I would say the concept of third, fourth, and fifth dimension has become something that we speak more about. I would say in very early stages of this journey, but there was a lot more imagination about what the fourth and the fifth dimension uh, yield to this human experience, right? And um, when I say there was a lot of imagination, it just wasn't a real way of illustrating that to myself. And I would say this depth, this book definitely allowed me to uh, come to, uh, we'll call it a clear conclusion. And this reason why I want to assist now, I call it a clear conclusion and not an absolute conclusion because we are always growing, learning, and evolving. So check this out, family. The third dimension is, as we understand it, the world of form, right? Um, but from this illustration, from this perspective, it's revealing a little bit deeper that form is a concept of realities in general. So all realities illustrate form in a way, and we should not only lock third dimension with physicality, because it's a little bit more about the movement of the mind in the realm of physicality. So this is basically where the video begins. The third dimension is a little bit more of an individual's interpretation of life experience. And this interpretation comes through the channel of linear time and separation. And these two pieces help the individual discern from events and separate events. So if you think back, they call this the history or the past, right? And this is basically the way the linear time operates. It's two directions, forward and back, right? So if I asked you, where were you on your last birthday? Let's say this is where we're at right now. If I say, where were you on your last birthday? This is what your mind do. If your last birthday was, let's say, December, you understand? But this is where we are right now, in this moment, right now, in this moment, right now. So we have to understand the rational mind, or more so the physical part of our nature, the third dimension, is more about that movement of thoughts. This right here, your story, your entire journey, your process, how long you've been here, all the thoughts, memories, and events, this is the third dimension. From the understanding that I'm having, this is based on the, per the perception of that individual. So if your mind goes back, why? A lot of times when people go back, they say, oh, well, I wasn't able to do this last time, so I'm not sure if it's going to work now. Doubt. Doubt send the mind back. What else sends the mind back? Fear. Oh, this this what this what people know happens in this area. What if it happens now? So here we are in a moment. Your mind goes back because of something else that someone said. Or, or here we are in the moment. Someone says something's gonna happen, no evidence and no true knowing, but just some thoughts. Now your mind goes forward. Worry. You understand. Now we're in a moment right now, but your mind goes forward to create a worry, a fake illustration of a moment that has never happened. So these are the move these are the movements of the mind when it's isolated in the third dimensional frequency. And when I say third dimensional frequency, I'm more so speaking to the concept of thinking that is based only on linear time. So when I started to feel for that, I was like, it makes so much sense why the world wants to keep you in fear, because that illustrates that you cannot stay in the moment. And the moment is the fourth dimension. So to get to the fourth dimension is to overstand your experience and become resolved within as a spiritual being. Because if you are not resolved and you're here in a moment, you can have any type of uh, conversation. You ever play that game on a Windows computer? It's called like Pong or Ping Pong or something like this. And they got those little levers ch -ch -ch on both sides, the left and right. And the little metal ball comes down and just starts, ch -ch -ch -ch, you know what I'm saying? Pong or something like that. Paint, I, I remember the name of that game. Space something. It's a 3D space Pong game little thing, right? I'll put a little edit right here so y'all can see that. But basically, the left and the right are the two operating sides of the brain. Oh, yeah. And the thought is basically whatever you're entertaining. So basically, if someone's having a conversation with you, and you hit a thought and it touches a part of yourself that's unsolved, unresolved, then that emotion now brings you back. You understand how that works? So just to paint the picture again, if you're having a conversation with someone and y'all in a moment right now, fourth dimensional, whatever you want to call it, family, 
y'all in the moment having a conversation and then yeah, someone, the other person mentions something that activates energy inside you that's dormant. It's called a trigger. That's what they say, emotional trigger. So you just got triggered, right? What happens? Well, why did you get triggered? Well, whatever you heard made you think and what happened with your thought? You understand? It made you remember and you didn't like what you remember because it made you feel. So now you've been brought back to whatever time frame that is because you need to resolve that. This is God assisting each and every single one of us to become resolved spiritual beings so that we can live here. And when you live here, this is what I'm noticing. You only feel like feeling like this. <laughs> this is the only thing you feel like. I swear like on everything. Like when you become resolved internally, that's how it feels. <laughs> Because everything else is going to stop that. Everything else is going to stop that. So how do you create the new world? By getting now. A lot of people are stuck in the past because they're not resolved. That's how I'm understanding it. In order to start to develop higher realm of thinking, you must not be clogged with the old thoughts. It's kind of like baggage. It's kind of like trying to slide through a door and you got a Santa Claus backpack on. You know, Santa Claus always got this little big ass pack in the little illustrations for this character they created he always got this big you know what i'm saying and it's like you're trying to slide through a crack door a door with a crack in it and you got this big ass you know what i'm saying whatever it is and y'all know what y'all's is but you're not going to be able to get to the moment carrying all of that shit because it makes you feel and the time in which you're feeling is not about now so your mind goes back and this is the easiest way to keep you in the rational mind illustration, or I don't want to call it a trap, but the rational mind illustration, which is basically an externalized form of the essence of God, more so victimized mentality. Oh, this happened to me. It's victimized. It makes it seem like there wasn't a gift inside. Rather ask what was this trying to teach me now self-empowerment this is why i tell y'all it's really about the placement of the words it's not about what you're saying it's about how you show what you say to yourself that's how you empower yourself by the way which you use your words now that's a whole nother conversation i know that doesn't really have too much to do with third and fourth uh but we're going to tap into that too so yeah family with that being said definitely get yourself a copy of this I haven't even hit half the book. I haven't even hit a quarter. I have a, hit a quarter way in, in this book. I'm reading this and two other books right now. And and that thing hit home real talk when I started realizing the rational, rational mind because it, it shows me exactly how people use their thoughts. They go directly to the places that they don't want to revisit. They go directly to the things that they don't appreciate because they weren't able to find the lesson. And they hold on to that. Therefore, they are bound and this is why the essence of forgiveness come into play because in order for you to be in the moment, you must release all the other ones, all the other moments you must release. You cannot release them if you do not let go. Let go sound like forgiveness. Forgive yourself, forgive the other. However, get now. That's the type of time. And I want to make this video because I know that someone would not be able to know unless they got this video. So I, I stay on my 10 toes. So I appreciate y'all. I really do. I really do appreciate y'all. And with that being said, this is like power. Higher consciousness thoughts organized for the divine. <sighs> so yeah, give yourself the opportunity to become resolved. The process in doing that takes meditation as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure there's other ways. Um, but that was a way I found because if you were going to use someone else to talk to them, that's open up to your ability to be honest with you. And the easiest way I found to be honest with myself is to be in my presence <laughs> and no one else. Well, me in the presence of God, of course, but you understand what I mean? That's why I will call meditation the first direction. Um, but with that being said, family, um, if y'all if y'all have any other ways to assist others in becoming resolved, there's a lot of, a lot of what we consider called shadow work, harmonizing with the physical self, harmonizing but still overstanding your spiritual wealth. You understand? So with that being said, family, I appreciate y'all, man. This is the third and fourth dimension uh, contrast video. Um, I noticed 
I would like to share this. If you don't make videos, but you've been having a call to make videos, make them videos because the video is going to help you feel present because you have to be aware of what you're saying and knowing that it's being heard and knowing that someone is following. This makes you now. You understand? So creating your world actually tells you to be present. So people need to feel for that because even if you make the video and you don't post it anywhere and you don't share it with anybody, it's still going to assist you in revisiting your own awareness of you. You dig what I'm saying? And I got to make sure people know that. So yeah, uh, with that being said, family, uh, this light power, super excited at the hour. I'm going to talk to y'all next time. Stay empowered. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. With that being said, I'm going to talk to y'all. Peace.